Hello there, this is Yanis with the first episode of the Arcweave Basic tutorial series. This first video is an overview where we'll use Arcweave's example project as a guide to the application's environment. The first time you log in, you actually open the example project called the castle. The Arcweave environment consists of a board and the sidebar. In the board, we see our story in the form of a diagram where elements like those here connect to each other with labeled connections. The sidebar has several things going on. First of all, we have the list of all the boards we've created. Then we have the components list. Components are entities that we can create to represent anything we need in the game. They can be characters, locations, items, and we can use and reuse them in our diagrams. Then we have the list of our assets, and that is a collection of all the images we have uploaded to use in our project. And finally, we have our global variables down here. This is where we can define the variables that we use in our project. As I said, this first video is an overview, so we will discuss all these things one at a time throughout the series. The next thing we can look at is the play mode. By clicking this icon up here, we can run and play the project. And this is the play mode. On top of everything, we see the current elements cover image, and then Arcweave renders whatever text content the current element has. And finally, we have one or more clickable choices. Let's switch back to the project and see how these things appear in the board. We see that this first element has an image as a cover, and then it has a text content and a couple of labeled connections. The enter the castle option that we saw on play mode appears here as an arrow that starts from our element and ends at the next one. Before I let you play the example project by yourselves, here's one more thing. The play has to begin somewhere at the first element, but how do we know which one it is? Well, here's a clue. This first element has a star icon, and if we hover over that, it says play mode start. We can assign this to any other element if we right-click and choose Set as Starting Element. Now, if we run the project again, it will start from the castle courtyard. So, this is it for this first episode. I hope you are now even more intrigued to play with and explore Arcweave's features and, of course, the example project. In the next episode, we'll start taking things one by one by creating a project from scratch. Let the games begin! Thanks for watching, and we'll speak very, very soon.